and, and dictate our actions mm-hmm. or whether we rise above that. Mm-hmm. And uh, going back to the astrology, astrology can point out the, the lower self, the aspect of yourself that will naturally be drawn to the to lower energies. Mm-hmm. You have two planets that square each other. They have a 90 degree angle. That's going to create uh, a negative aspect in your chart. And so that's something that you're going to have to constantly work through. Mm-hmm. That to me is like a lower self energy. Right. right. I mean, the chart can dictate, it can indicate so many things when you learn how to thoroughly read it. So that's one thing I not only encourage people to get charts done, but try to learn how to read it yourself. Right, right. And that was really beautiful. Now, with um, a question to you about is it truth or how much truth is it to this statement? Mars, god of war. And uh, Venus, can you elaborate uh, a little bit on Venus? Because also in that animation, they said that entities or spiritual beings were created on Venus first. And this came off the animation from Japan, a Japanese animation called The Law of the Sun, S-U-N. That's interesting because Venus is a woman. Right. So what they're really saying is that life came from women first. Right, right. And I know it was a little colored, right? (laughs) And um, a lot of ancient societies, their, their chief deity was a woman. And that's because they saw physically that life came from women. They saw right. the, they saw the child come out of the woman, so they revered the woman for that reason. So that might be why they make that association. Um, because what the male provides is the the, the jump start for the for just for gestation for the egg to to begin to grow to be the child. Mm-hmm. The sperm is like an electrical energy. It represents Aquarius, and Aquarius is electrical, and it, it's a jump start for the egg. And so um, they say that there was a point in time when women were able to um, have that electrical jump started by the sun, because the sun also emitted electrical energy. And so if that, given that science, then life definitely began with women. So I could see, right, <laughs> I could see that right. being the case. Not to say that, um, I mean, today we are so we are so far gone that I, I wouldn't even say that we should carry it like we don't need the brothers and stuff mm-hmm. like that. And I wouldn't take it to that extent. But it just shows that um, we have always been life givers and life sustainers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, we and could- we're going through it now, but <laughs> that's what we've always done. So. Yeah, yeah. Well, pardon me on the interjection. Uh, we have about five more minutes, and I, I want to get this uh, last two in. Uh, and do you have any more you want to expound on? Oh, well, the, one other thing I, I want to sure, sure. say is that um, I think it's a little bit really interesting we are in a time where people want to represent or rep- like where they're from mm-hmm. and. They are calling out these corporate names of places to right. represent where they where they claim they are quote unquote from. Mm-hmm. And one thing I encourage people to do is study what the indigenous name of the land was, or what the people of the land uh, called themselves. And so, here in the DC metropolitan area, everyone calls the DMV. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I, I found that there was a confederation in D.C., Maryland, and Virginia, and D.C. portion was called, the, the indigenous people there were the Anacostians, just like Anacostians. Oh, wow, really? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Um, and then in Maryland, and forgive me for mispronouncing this, because people always correct me, but um, I believe they call it Piscataway, or Piscataway is how they how they call it. Um, I'm sure that's not the indigenous way of referring to it. Um, I'm sure they use a different accenting, but 
that refers to the people of Maryland. And then in Virginia, it, uh, the people were called Doeg, and that's the people of like, Prince William County and Fairfax County and moving on up. So mm -hmm. they held a confederation. Uh, so this DMV concept is a corporate representation of something that already existed. There you go. There you go. That's very beautiful because I've also found out the whole estate, a state or state of Virginia is called Edom, E D O M, Edom. And when you said the Maryland for Piscataway, what we were talking about where Allah will allow us to have our next temple in Clinton, the place is right there by Piscataway Road. Oh wow! Okay. You see how all that wow. ties in? <laughs> yes, yes. And Anacostian, my mother stays right over by Anacostia subway station right now. Okay, okay, yes. So everything That's ties in. Peace out there. So I, I, you know, those, I say that is a, you know, when people are indigenous, but it's, but it's a, it's a flawed sense of indigenous. Right. If that makes sense. Like they're rebelling against the European, but they don't have the full knowledge of who they are. Right. That's how I feel about um, like some of the students that I taught in, in Anacostia, because they could pick up on the knowledge real quick. Mm -hmm. They were already like, well, everything else is BS that you, that I'm learning. Right. So yeah, that's a powerful uh, part of the city. Yes. 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 And, and I we'll agree. Now we got about two minutes left on here, and, and okay. uh, you want to yes. give yes. you any shout outs to anyone, anything special else you want to say, any homecomings? <laughs> uh, shout out Taj always, Taj Street Day. Yes, and, I concur. Uh, I concur with that. <laughs> yes, always, and he's gonna he teaches out here in in um in the area that they call Maryland, mm -hmm. and so he'll be here this upcoming like Tuesday. And uh, shout out Rasmariah Bay, and shout out uh, Crystal and Messiah. Um, those are the Grand Chiefs of my temple in Delaware. And um, right now they uh, have been kidnapped, so you know we're just trying to hold it down for them. Mm -hmm. And uh, oh, visit moreastrology.com mm -hmm. and visit cultivated-minds.com. Those are my websites, and that's it. Beautiful, beautiful, no. beautiful. Shout out Cujo. Cujo, oh yeah, can't forget my man Joel. Cujo up in Canaan land, that's right. Last but never leave. Okay, um, one more thing before we um go down. Uh, I had talked to you earlier, and I did a show, another show earlier. I want to leave you with this information, and you can check the rest out. Um, you remember what we uh, talked about earlier, about the uh, Marshal General? I did. I looked it up and I printed the information. There you go. There you go. So yeah. I did the show this morning. So if you want, just go ahead on there and check that show out too because it's really enlightening. Okay. And I want to yeah. thank you again. And I know we're going to do this one again because I have a topic I want to talk to you about on the next show, if that's possible. Of course. Okay, always. Now, uh, family, we have the illustrious historian, nationalist, and great sister, and astrologist Salah Bay. We want to thank you for uh, having me coming on the show, and we will definitely get to do it again. Most definitely. Peace and love, everybody. All right. I'll see you in a few. I'll, I'll talk to you in a few, okay? All right. All right. Peace. That was Sister Salah Bay, entomologist, nationalist, astrologist, just a flat out good sister. And future seekers <laughs> of the Moral Science Temple that will be here in Clinton. We're working on that with Brother Taj. She's going to talk to, and um, we're going to make things happen here for us, family. Like I say, don't believe nothing we say. Go check it out for yourself, and you'll be amazed at the jewels you'll find on your treasure hunt. This is part of the interjection. I am your host, Supreme L. As always, Islam, love, and peace forevermore. <laughs>